What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna, AKA Mini Marley, and I'm back for another video. I have not done a try-on haul in the longest time. I do my little Fabletics try-on hauls here and there, show you guys loungewear, stuff that I wear around the house and on the go, but I haven't shown you the pieces that I actually wear when I'm going out, when I'm getting all dressed up and trying to be cute or taking pictures for Instagram, that type of stuff. I have not shared that with you, and that's pretty crazy because I'm always shopping, it's really bad, but I'm gonna put you guys on today I want to share with you guys all of my recent purchases I got a bunch of stuff from Zara nasty gal even Target you guys are probably sleeping on Target but I'm about to show you guys today they have so many good stuff and then we're also gonna get into a few luxury items I recently made my first two luxury purchases ever like ever I never want to spend my coin but I finally did and I have to unbox those bags for you guys today and then also some jewelry if you want to see all of that then and keep watching this video. All right, so the first thing that I got is from Zara and it is this top right here. I don't know, you guys, I just love animal print. I am really drawn to all the animal print stuff. I think sometimes it can be a little bit tacky or like over the top, but for some reason I just gravitate towards it. And this is kind of like a snake print top. It is kind of in this like creamish color, cream and gray type of color. Usually you see it in black and white or even gray, but this is kind kind of like a cream color which I haven't really seen before I don't see often and it's basically just a button up top and it actually has these darts in the back that make it kind of tailored and it cinches the waist a little bit which I didn't expect and honestly I am not really a fan of that I wish it wasn't like that but it goes really well with these shorts that I got that I'll show you later in the video so I think I'm gonna end up keeping it and this was $45.90. Zara could be pretty pricey, which I usually like to wait for their semi-annual sales either in the summer or the winter because you can get really good deals. Otherwise, this stuff is kind of expensive. And to be honest, I don't even feel like the quality is all that great for it to be so expensive. Then I also got these shorts right here. So I have really been wanting some nice mom jean type shorts. Just really nice and high waisted, good quality. And I found these on their website. I really like that it had this split right here in the side and I also like that it was nice and cut off. And they're not like a super short short, but they're also not Bermuda, that mid length short. They're kind of just right in the middle and it just is a really good length for me personally. And I got them in this light wash color now with Zara jeans you are going to have to size up okay like I said earlier I did a whole huge purchase from them I got two boxes of stuff and when I initially tried to film this try on haul I was trying everything on and nothing fit I was gonna post it and make it like a try on haul fail but I was just starting to get pissed because I'm like what is going on normally I'm a size 12 I'm a really straightforward size 12 or an extra large when it comes to my bottoms pretty much anywhere I can get a size 12 but with Zara I ended up having to get a size 14 in all of the jeans that you'll see today because the size 12s would not fit at all they were just so tight especially with these materials this jean is like no stretch at all all of the jeans that I got from them have no stretch and you have to size up or they're not going to fit so yeah definitely keep that in mind I also don't really like the fact that size 14 is as big as they go in their jeans I feel like that's pretty crazy because like why not I feel like at this point they should be a little bit more inclusive so also keep that in mind if you are regularly a size 14 you might not even be able to fit into these because like I said I think that you might want to size up but they are really cute I like that they button up right here they don't have the zipper they just button all the way up and I feel like they really suck you in well they have to because there's no stretch on these they're not the most comfortable maybe I'd have to lose a little bit of weight for them to be more comfortable but they do work they fit nicely they look good so I think I'm definitely gonna be keeping them the next item that I got is this kind of biker tee right here I wanted to pair this with the denim shorts so that you guys could see how I would more likely wear it I would probably dress it down and just wear it with a t-shirt kind of like this one 
and this one is just like a motorcycle shirt like it says it's from nasty gal and it has the shoulder pads right here i have been wanting some shirts with um the shoulder pads for so long they just make a regular t-shirt look a little bit more fancy so i just picked this up and yeah there's not really much more to say about it it's not the best quality but it can get by especially for the price i think i probably paid like eight dollars for it I also picked up this bodysuit from Zara. I already have it in the black color, which you guys have probably seen here on my channel before. And it's just a really nice spandexy type material. So, so, so comfortable. And it's kind of like a racer back. It goes up to the neck kind of. And yeah, just your pretty basic bodysuit. So I decided to get it in this nude color as well. And I just put them on with these shorts. I probably would not ever wear this all together. It's too tight. On tight I don't really like that I like to have something looser on the top if I wear tight bottoms or vice versa but these are the same exact shorts as the light blue pair of denim high-waisted mom jeans that I just showed you guys this is just in the black color same exact style it has this split right here on this side it's nice and cut off but this one decided that when I was buttoning it up it wanted to pop so there is a button missing which like I said I feel like Zara is pretty expensive and sometimes the quality doesn't match up like there is no reason that this button should have popped off when I was putting it on and it's also not like this is the first time a button has broken on me in the last set of Zara stuff that I bought two of the shorts that I bought also had buttons popping off of them and I was just like what the heck is going on here Zara do better I'm paying a lot of coin for these items I don't think that button should be flying off the items fit you're trying to play me right now and make it look like I'm wearing the wrong size but this is the right size I I promise you guys and really cute really basic and again I got these in a size 14 please shut up all right, so more denim from Zara. I really just wanted to get a few pairs of mom jeans. I do not have anything in the mom jean category. So I wanted the shorts and I also wanted the regular typical high-waisted mom jean pants. So that is what I got. These are the black pair. I got them in black, medium blue, and light blue. And of course, I got this in a size 14 once again. But yeah, this is pretty basic. Just a really nice pair of high-waisted jeans. This one has a zipper, not the button-up detail like the last one. So these are $45.90, which that's fine for a pair of jeans. So I decided to pair them with some button-up tops. Like I said, button-up tops have been my new favorite thing. And I found some really nice ones from Target. So if you guys are sleeping on Target, it is time for you to wake up because Target has really, really cute stuff. I always find clothes there. And recently I picked up these two button up tops and I went back and got two more because they are just that cute. So the first one that I have here is this kind of brown color. I love nudes and all the different shades of nudes. And I think that this brown looks so nice. And it is just a really nice button up, a really nice flowy material. Material. I got this one in an extra large, but as you'll see, I got these in all different sizes because it all just depends on how you want to wear it. And it's from the brand called Prologue that they have at Target. If you guys have this brand, I definitely recommend it. The quality feels really, really nice. So amazing. Definitely worth the price in my opinion. And then I also got it in black because why not? You definitely need a black button up. This looks so good with a bralette underneath, a mesh one or one with a little bit of a design and you can kind of just have a little peekaboo bralette moment. So I decided to get this. I also really like to tie these up and not just have them hanging. Just tie them up or you can tuck them in and it just is a look. I'm telling you guys, it's a look. You can style these so many ways and really dress them up or dress them down but it just makes you look so nice and put together and these tops are $24.99 but sometimes Target has deals on their clothing section and you can get a percentage off which is really good but I feel like it is definitely worth the price because the material the fit all of it is just 
it's on point then these are the two that I already had the material on these is a little bit different they're a little bit more sheer which is great for the summertime I love them I haven't worn this one yet this is the size medium but again because of the way that these are cut and they're made to be oversized the medium still fits me perfectly fine and I can leave it unbuttoned if I want I just really love the sheer on this white one and then this kind of nice nudie tan colors also really cute I got this one in a large and I've actually worn this one already so I'll show you guys a picture of what that looked like and how I would kind of dress this up but I just love them and they have the really loose wide sleeves I like to pull them up tie them at the waist and then it's just a vibe button-ups are a vibe okay and Target keep doing your thing girl so like I said, I got these mom jeans in all three colors. This is the medium blue pair. This just gives me that loose fit at the leg that I wanted. And I also had some looser jeans from Fashion Nova, but I just felt like they didn't fit me right. They didn't look good on me. So I picked these up and I feel like they really do look nice and flattering and they fit me well. Jeans are just so hard. Even these are a little bit uncomfortable, but I feel like the fit looks good and it looks nice. So I I just decided to stick with them anyway but you guys know how it is when it comes to finding really good jeans and I think that I was really missing this pair of jeans in my closet that can go with a few different items including what I'm wearing now I got this jersey right here and the one that I'm wearing from a black owned brand that I found on Instagram called melanin apparel I love baseball jerseys I think that they look so cute you can wear them with a crop top underneath and wear them loose and open so this is the black and white one and it says black panther party panther power and then on the back it says newton with the two zeros right here and it says black panther here on the sleeve so i'm really really excited about these i think they look so nice and of course supporting a black owned business is always a good idea so i definitely recommend these two items they're such good quality it's so nice every time that i've worn them so far somebody has said something about them so definitely a piece that'll get people talking and I really really love this one this one is definitely my favorite though this is the Malcolm X one and on the sleeve it says by any means necessary you already know so yeah I really 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 love these jerseys I think that they are so cute and I just wore them with some little crop tops underneath that I got from ASOS nothing serious and while we have the casual denim looks going I also wanted to show you guys this denim jacket that I got from Target as well so I I've been needing a denim jacket for the longest time. I had a really cute one that I got from ASOS and I left it somewhere, could not find it. So I've been needing one for months now. And I saw this one at Target, tried it on and I'm like, this works this is from their brand wild fable which is kind of in the juniors type of section and it is nice and distressed it has distressed marks all over it it has pockets here in the front and it's just a really nice quality denim jacket that's not going to break the bank I got mine in an extra large because I wanted it to be a nice and oversized and I like to just wear it with the sleeves kind of rolled up a little bit just for a very chill look. All right, moving on to the last pair of jeans, I promise. This is the light wash in the classic mom fit jean from Zara. Again, these are, oh, this one is actually cheaper. This one says $39.90, but yeah, I got these in a 14 light wash. Same thing, they zip up. I think that they look really nice on, and I really think that the light wash is actually my favorite color in these jeans. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite one. And I just have that paired with my second top from Nasty Gal, another one of these shoulder padded type of tops. This is also in an extra large and it's just a nice kind of olive green color. I thought that it was such a pretty color and I got this in a size 10 as well, just like the other one. And yeah, this one feels really nice. The quality on this isn't bad. Actually, nope, it doesn't say how much it costs, but again, everything will be linked down below. So yeah, Nasty Gal has a ton of these different tops, but this olive one is a really, really pretty color, super versatile, easy to wear, and so many things you can pair it with. So I picked this one up. We're almost done with the Zara pieces, I promise, but now into the dresses. I picked up this black dress from Zara. This was $49.90 and I got it in an extra large, and it's just a really nice base 
baby doll type dress but with the long sleeves which is a little bit different and I really liked it in the black color for the winter time I think that this could actually be cute with some nice chunky boots which I actually also got from Zara and I'll show you that in a second but this is really nice and it's just flowy I love dresses dresses are my favorite thing to wear you just throw it on and the whole outfit is already done so I definitely had to grab these I would wear this personally with the boots and just kind of you know look like a badass a little bit so <laughs> that is why I got this piece and then I also on the other side got a more cute good girl looking white dress pretty much same style it's a baby doll dress but this one has shorter sleeves and it has puffy sleeves which I thought was a really cute touch again you can button this all the way up or leave it unbuttoned this one is also $39.90 and I got it in an extra large but I love this and it just makes me want to twirl around all day long so so cute the next item that I got is these faux leather shorts from Zara and I got this initially in a size extra extra large so like I was saying Zara sizing is pretty weird I'm typically an extra large in bottoms or a size 12 but the first order that I placed all of the extra large shorts would not fit me at all so I decided to get these in an extra extra large and then it turned out that they were too big these are a really really stretchy nice soft leather material so I feel like because of the stretch on them the extra extra large was just too big for me so I ended up sizing down so these are the size extra large they fit me so much better and they're so 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 comfortable I wish you guys could feel these the leather material is just so nice and soft it's really really good quality I feel like these shorts were so worth it let me see how much I paid these were $35.90 and yeah, they're just so worth it I think in my opinion. They just are a type of short that you can kind of dress up and wear on a cute night out, out to dinner or wherever with any of these button up shirts that I just showed you. So if you are getting these shorts, you can get your true size. I think these are going to be a staple in my closet. They just go with so many different things. All of my button ups will look perfect with these. So I paired it with this bodysuit just to show you guys, but I would probably never wear these two items together. But anyway, this is another one of those really nice stretchy bodysuits from Zara And I got this one in a kind of maroon a reddish color again I got this in a medium probably could have got a large and this was $19.90 just a really good basic to have in your closet here we go again with the button-ups This is the last one. I promise I got this silky looking button-up in the color black I just thought that it was so pretty. I really feel like the sleeves on this this could be a little bit longer and I also feel like the quality isn't amazing it's all right but it doesn't feel like real silk at all but it is pretty it gives you the nice little sheen and looks a little bit more fancy so that's why I decided to pick it up I was actually watching the notorious Kia's videos if you guys don't watch her you definitely should if you're into fashion she does a lot of thrifting and a lot of different types of hauls and in one of her recent videos she mentioned that if you want these silky type of button-up tops that you should definitely check out the thrift store because you can get real silk tops for really really cheap so maybe I'll check that out because I really do want to get some silk button-ups in my collection and this one isn't the best material but it's a place to start so that is why I got this I loved those black full leather shorts so much that I decided to get them in another color when I reordered to get the smaller size and I picked up this kind of taupe color in the shorts and I think that it's such a pretty color. I'm just in love with this color and the same thing they feel so nice and soft love the material on these love the stretch they're so comfortable. And I paired them with that snake print top that I showed you at the beginning of this haul and I feel like it went perfectly. I honestly wasn't feeling that top at first and I was going to return it but after pairing it with these shorts I was just like alright I gotta keep it because as a set they go together so well and I just 
I just love it. So the last clothing item that I got from Zara is this jumpsuit right here. It's a romper type of situation, a denim shorts jumpsuit. And I think that it's so cute. This is actually one of my favorite pieces. It's a light wash denim color. The denim feels so nice and soft. It's not very stiff and hard. And it buttons up right here, but then down here at the bottom, it has a nice little zipper. I really love all of the pocket details right here. I just also love the way that it fits really nice and relaxed. And also the fact that the waist has this kind of elastic band right here. So it kind of sucks you in at the waist and creates some definition in the middle. And I got this jumper in an extra large. Definitely one of my favorite pieces out of all of the Zara pieces. The final two things that I got from Zara are just two pairs of shoes. One are these heels. I wanted some more clear heels because I wear the ones that I already have so often. But these were a flop. I'm normally a size eight and a half, nine, and I got these in a nine and they don't fit at all. This band is so small, like nothing can really fit in there. I don't really understand who this is supposed to fit. But yeah, it has the little block heel right here. But these are gonna have to go back because I cannot even get them on my foot. The next pair of shoes that I got are definitely a winner. I really wanted some nice chunky boots because I sold the last pair that I had and I saw these and I love them. I got these in a size nine, but like I said, I'm a size eight and a half nine and honestly, I feel like I needed to size down. I literally just placed the order yesterday in the size eight and they were actually on sale when I picked mine up. So normally these are $69.90, but when I went to reorder the smaller size yesterday, I got them for like $45 or $49, which we love. I love a discount. I love the sock detailing right here on these. This is kind of like a stretchy material, so it makes it really easy for you to put the boots on. But yeah, overall, these are just a really nice chunky pair of boots. It gives you that grungy vibe, which I think is just... Zara actually has a ton of really nice boots. If you really want to get that chunky boot look or the grungy boot look or even a more nice heeled boot, they have so, so, so many boots on their website. Some of the really nice ones that I liked were sold out, but these are still available. So hurry up and grab them because aren't they cute? I love these. All right, on to the bag. So I got four new purses that I wanna share with you guys today. Two of them I spent a bag on. I really just have been wanting to get a nice luxury bag, but I'm always scared to just drop a ton of money like that, especially on a purse. But I was like, you know what? You deserve it, you work hard, you save your coin, and sometimes you can spend it. So I decided to buy two luxury bags. But before we get to those, I wanna show you guys the two lower end luxury bags that I was gifted by a brand called Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake is a really good brand if you're looking for a good quality purses, real leather, great material, Italian made, but they are not going to break the bank. So the first one that I got is in this bag right here. This is how it came packaged. Love that luxury vibe. We love opening the duster and pulling out the item. So this is the first bag that I got. Super cute. This is a suede material and this is called their Ava bag. So let me show you how this bag works. It basically has these two little latches right here and you pull this out and then that is how the bag opens. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. It has the same suede material on the inside and it has a zipper right here. So you can put some stuff in there. And it also has another pocket here in the bag. This one is easier to get to if you want to just put some things back here. And it says Teddy Blake right there under that zipper. And it also says Teddy Blake here at the bottom in the front. And it also has this really interesting lock detail right here. So this is a real lock right here. And if you pull back this little piece right here, you'll see that the keys to that lock are actually attached right here so if you ever wanted to you could take this entire thing off of the bag this all comes off you can leave it on or not i think that it's cute so i left it on mine the bag also came with this adjustable strap so you can add that and wear this as a crossbody bag as well so this is what the strap would look like attached this one also comes in its own duster of course and it looks like this 
I love this bag. I really needed a camel colored bag like this that goes with so many different things. You guys know this color is so versatile and you can just wear it with a lot of different outfits. So I was already on the hunt for a camel colored bag and this one is real leather as well made in Italy. It's $480 initially but right now it's on the site for $289. Let's get into the details. So you basically just pull that down to open it and just like the other bag this one comes with a strap as well so that you can wear it over the shoulder if you want I like to wear my bags over my shoulder on a regular day so I love that option and this one also comes with this little detail on the inside and this can actually come off which I really like but you can also have it attached to the bag right here and just put the important stuff in here and put that in your bag so that it's really easy to get to I do have a discount code if you want to shop on Teddy Blake's website the discount code is TBBRIANNA and you'll get $20 off of any purchase that you make. I'll list it down below in the description box if you want to shop. If you're looking for a gift for a loved one, your mom maybe, and you want to get her a really good quality bag but you also can't afford some super high-end luxury bag, I think this is such a great option. They have so many cute styles, all the colors you can think of, different materials, whatever she likes you can definitely find and you'll be able to get it at an affordable price. So I also spent a little bit of my own coin and bought my first two luxury bags ever. I am somebody who doesn't like to drop a lot of money at once, but I had been eyeing these two bags for the longest time. I knew that they weren't just trendy luxury items that I just wanted to get just because. These are just two bags that I really, really loved and I decided it's time for me to buy my big girl bags. So the first one that I'm gonna show you guys is this one by Celine. So just to give you a little backstory, I wanted two different types of bags. I wanted one of them to be like my everyday bag that can go with everything, that can fit everything that I need on a daily basis, that is just a luxury bag. And then I wanted the second one to be something that is more for when I get dressed up, a cute, a little mini type of bag that I can just add to an outfit, spice things up, and just be more for special occasions. So the Celine bag I wanted for my everyday bag. So this is how it came in this big bag right here. I went to the Celine store here in Miami in the fashion district. So I got to see everything in person and it came in this huge duster right here. Now you guys have probably already seen this bag in vlogs, but I've wanted to unbox it with you guys for the longest. So I decided to include it in this video. Here is my baby. I love this bag. The luggage style is pretty classic. You've probably seen it before and it pretty much doesn't change. And it has a few different colors and sizes. There's the Nano, which is pretty small, kind of like a mini type of bag. And then there is this, which is the Micro, which is pretty big to me. This fits pretty much everything that I could ever need. It's a really good size. And what made me decide to finally splurge and get this bag was when I saw it in this color. I've seen it in the navy blue and the black and just all the other colors that they have but I've never seen this color which is called Sudis I think that's how you pronounce it but I just love 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 the color it is so pretty and this is in the drummed calfskin leather it has a zipper right here in the front then on the back it has this little loop right here which I think is for sunglasses you can hang your sunglasses on there so this bag can be worn two ways you can either wear it like this with the two little wings out or you can push them in and it'll look like this so there are two options with this which is another thing that I liked about this bag and like I said I have been using this bag for a little while now so I do have my stuff in here but there is a zipper detail right here so that you can put some things in there if you want and then on the other side there are two pockets so that you can also put more things your phone whatever you want and that is pretty much it so this is my Celine luggage in the micro size in Sudis. All right, the last bag that I have to show you guys is this one from Louis Vuitton. You guys already know from the bag. And this is what it looks like. 
so 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 cute okay so i first saw this bag on kira on monique's channel if you don't follow kira you should i enjoy her vlogs and she bought this bag and was showing it on her channel in a vlog and i'm like that is so cute and different i have been looking for a long time to decide what designer bag i wanted to get but nothing was really catching my attention i didn't think anything was that cute for the price but this one definitely hit the mark what i loved about this is that it's so versatile i've used that word so many times today but it is i love that it has the patent leather black and then it also has white and then it opens right here and it came with the strap and the strap comes with white on one side and then the traditional brown color with the Louis Vuitton logo on the other side of it. So depending on what you're wearing, you can switch it around. And then on the inside, there's just a pocket right here and the little metal thing that says Louis Vuitton on it on the inside. And it is just such a nice bag. I think that it's perfect and it really elevates any outfit. I love the little hints of the print. And while I was there, the guy that was selling me this bag also convinced me to buy this Louis Vuitton scarf. And at first I'm like, mm, I don't think so. But then he showed me how I could wear it. Let me fix it for you guys so you can see. So this is what it looks like with this scarf. He basically wrapped it on here for me and showed me and I'm like oh that's so cute it kind of adds a cute little detail to the bag and some colors so that it could go with different types of outfits so I got this I don't even know how much I paid for this scarf I know that it was way too much probably just for this little scarf but I felt like it was a cute detail for the bag and I felt like if you're gonna go all out then go all out I will link both of those bags below in case you want to find the exact ones that I have but the last thing that I want to show you guys today is some jewelry i tried out a new place it was a brand that i saw on instagram you guys know the instagram ads they will get you it's a brand called bay and gray i'm not gonna lie it took weeks and weeks and weeks for me to get these items but luckily when they finally arrived i did love them so that's the reason why i'm sharing it with you guys i decided to get these so it basically it looks like these and i bought them all individually and i wanted to spell out my nickname which is brie so i got the b and i got the r and i got the e and i really 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 like these because you can kind of stretch them out to fit your finger so as you can see they're open and you can just stretch them and make them fit so this is what it looks like when i wear all three rings i love having a lot of gold jewelry on i don't know what it is but i just love it and i'm definitely going to be wearing these a lot of course you can get whatever letters you want spell out whatever you want to spell you can get all five fingers if you wanted to or you can just get one and not be extra like me and then i also got this ring right here this is a bigger more statement ring and it can fit on this finger this is what that looks like then i got these two i can't remember if these were a set or if i bought them individually but when i use stack these up this is what they look like so these are all of my recent jewelry purchases. All right, we made it to the end of the video. If you have made it this far, shout out to you for being a true supporter. I feel like this was super long. I had so many things to show you guys. I've been collecting this stuff for a while now and this try on haul was just never working out every time I tried to film it. So I'm really happy I got to share all of these items with you guys today. Again, I will link everything below for you guys with direct links if you want to purchase any of the items that you saw here today. I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite items were today and also recommend a black owned business below that we can all shop from. I'm looking for some black owned businesses to support. I've seen so many different ones on Instagram and I've been checking them out but I think I want to do a black owned business haul so that is something that I'm working on. So if you have one that you want me to shop definitely let me know in the comments below so that I can check it out. Again shout out to Teddy Blake for giving me with these two purchases but that is all i have for you guys today go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you are not already and then turn on your notification because you do not want to miss the next one peace out guys i'll see you in the next video